Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick and easy uh, protective style for relaxed hair. So stay tuned. I'm starting out on uh, freshly washed hair. So you're just going to see me um, blow drying um, my hair. I got a relaxer I'd say about maybe three weeks ago. So this is my first wash um, since I got my relaxer. So just stay tuned and watch me try to tame my mane. All right, you guys, so I'm halfway done with blow drying my hair. I don't know about you guys, but this is like the most time consuming and tedious part of doing my hair and I truly hate blow drying. <laughs> As you can see, it drives me crazy. But now my hair is finally blow dried. Um, I recently cut about four or five inches off of my hair, I'd say maybe like two months ago, I'd say. So I'm just giving you guys an updated, um, I guess, length check. My hair's still really thick, um, but I definitely cut several inches off. So I'm just giving you guys an update, um, like an updated look at my hair since the haircut. So yeah. So here comes the most fun part of the hairstyle. I don't know about you guys, but I am the absolute worst at um, parting my hair. So I had my mom part my hair for me. So she parted it down the middle and then she separated my hair into a total of six little um, like pigtails. So I have two at the top, two in the middle, and two in the back, as you can see. I secured them with just a hair tie. Those are not rubber bands, so my hair is safe from breakage. I then got some uh, jumbo braid hair from Sally's. It's the Sassy brand. It is the absolute best brand of braiding hair out there, in my opinion, because the texture matches African-American hair, more specifically relaxed African-American hair um, very well, and it's a very soft um, brand of hair. All right, so you're gonna open up your braid hair and you're gonna split the hair evenly so that you end up having two separate little like um, ponytail type things. So I attached each one with a black rubber band, not a hair tie, but a rubber band. And you're gonna see that I flip the hair over so that it flips over the front of my rubber band. And so here's where it gets a little tricky, but I'm gonna try my best to explain it to you guys. So including the two halves of the braid hair and then my hair, I would have a total of three strands in order to make a pig, not a pigtail, um, a braid. But because my hair is so much shorter than the braid hair, I split that braid hair in half and added half of that to my hair so that my hair was um, included in some of the length of the braid hair, if that makes absolutely any sense. So hopefully you guys could see what I did, but I just started braiding down and um, you can't really tell in this take. Oh, nope, I turned around. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you are going to begin braiding your hair, just a normal braid, not like necessarily a French braid. This is more so a faux French braid. But you're going to start braiding your hair down and as you braid your hair down adding your hair into the braid hair your braid is going to get thicker and thicker and so what i did because i have three of those little ponytails i started with the first ponytail and then as i moved my way down um, i added each ponytail into a different section of the braiding hair so that the sections ended up being pretty even. So it's not like one section was super thin and the other one was super thick. But you can see as I'm braiding down how I added more hair as I moved down. So 
So just keep braiding all the way down to the bottom of your braid. And for me, it was a little easier to like flip the way my hands were positioned after I got to the bottom because I can braid a lot faster that way. And you'll see that there's little pieces of my hair sticking out through the braid because my hair isn't as long as the braiding hair. But I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later in the video um, that I do redo that braid and that there's a little trick to um, making your hair blend in more than um, what I first did with that first braid. So this side, guys, I learned that I needed to put some more uh, products on my hair so that my hair wasn't as fluffy and that my ends, so my ends didn't kind of stick out of the braid. And y'all, I went old school with this. Like I had that Africa's Best hair grease. You can see it on my hand. I put that hair grease in my parts, honey. I was like, I don't want any dry hair. I don't want any dandruff. So I took it all the way back with that Africa's Best um, hair grease. I got mineral oil in my hair. Like I'm breaking all the hair rules right now, but I just wanted to make sure that my hair was as moisturized as humanly possible because this is a protective style and you don't want your hair to break. So hopefully here guys, you guys have a better um, view of what I was talking about. I took that braiding hair and I took some pieces from it and added it to my ponytail so that um, you know, my hair could be um, the same length as the rest of the hair. And then I just started braiding down. So this was a little bit harder because the way my hands are positioned, it doesn't feel natural to braid my hair that way. But eventually I did get my rhythm. And um, as you guys could see, when I first turned around with the other braid, the uh, hair ties do not poke through with the braid. It all blends in like the way the hair is positioned it blends in with the um, hair ties and you can't see it. So it really does look like almost a French braid. So I'm braiding my hair down and I'm gonna really turn around for you guys so you can get a good view this time of how it looks when you're braiding down. And you're just, just gonna continue adding hair um, from those ponytails as you move down, um, down the braid. So you'll see. So then I noticed that my hair wanted to be fluffy again, so I had to add some more of that old school uh, like hair grease to the ends of my hair. That way the ends of my hair didn't stick out. But the one really good thing about this um, hair product is that it makes your hair super, super shiny. And even though there's like grease and oil, like mineral oil and petroleum jelly in it, um, your hair does not dry out. So depending on how cold it gets where you are, you do not have to worry about your hair drying out um, because this stuff will keep your hair moisturized for like six weeks. It's ridiculous. I did not um, slick my hair down with any type of gels or pomades because my hair does not respond well to gel or pomades. So my edges look puffy, but when I wrap my hair, um, tonight it will definitely lay down and be flat and smooth tomorrow. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and redid that first braid so that my hair is not sticking out as much as it was the first time. There's still a few pieces that are sticking out, but I'm going to show you guys a little hack to help those little pieces stay put. So you just take a rubber band, not a hair tie, but a rubber band, hopefully black or the same color as your hair, and you're going to um, put the rubber band around the areas of the braid where your hair is sticking out. 
and it'll keep that hair, that shorter hair of yours in place. It'll hold it in place. And so I think I only put two rubber bands here, but you can definitely tell the difference because the hairs aren't sticking out because the rubber band is holding it in place. I did not tie the rubber band many times. I just put it over the hair. So here's a quick little slow-mo of what my hair looks like finished. Um, just the two braids without um, any other change to the style. So if you want, obviously your ends would probably look better than mine because my ends look really puffy and crazy. But if you want, you could have two like, uh, you know, braided ponytails, like faux braided ponytails. <laughs> look at that face, that's crazy. Um, and you could end the style here. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at my face. I look wild, you guys. But me, I like, um, like a more updo type of hairstyle. I can't stand having something on my neck. So I ended up making like two little buns in the back and then I connected the ends on the opposite side and tucked them underneath the braid of the opposite side. And so it looks like they're kind of crooked, but um, when I put my scarf on and woke up the next day, that one side that looked a little bit lower um, lift it up if that makes any sense so they're both even and I absolutely love it you guys like I got so many compliments um, from co-workers and stuff so I thank you so much for watching I'm about to go to sleep hit that like button comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later love you guys bye bye